Michael Brennan, video for social media, commercial airline pilot, Boeing 727 until 1974, fiber optic engineer before the 84 Olympics in LA, speaker on advances in technology for AT&T, owner of a Tony Robbins distributorship in Orange County, Million Dollar Club Award for mortgages, notes, and trust deeds, and factoring of accounts receivables. Appeared on television and radio, published in the American Cash Flow Journal for seven years, video production business for over 10 years, and currently our videographer for social media. Thanks. Hey, as a matter of curiosity, how many people have either seen me before or this is your first time. Can I see your hands, please? <laughs> I was just checking to see who was awake here. Yeah. I read something the other day that was fascinating and I wanted to share it with you. I read where every third person is either tremendously handsome or amazingly beautiful. So what I'd like everybody to do right now is turn and look to the right side Take a look at the person to your right. You too, Glenn, look to the right. <laughs> okay, now look to the left. Now look to the left. And if it isn't either one of them, <laughs> must be Glenn, huh? <laughs> Who wasn't looking, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the simple uh, things that really are true. You know, there's only 10 digits. But look at what Einstein did with those 10 digits. There's only three pure colors on the face of the earth. But look at what Michelangelo did with those three colors. Or Norman Rockwell did with those three colors. There's only seven notes. But look at what Chopin and Beethoven did with those seven notes. <laughs> For that matter, look what Elvis did with two. <laughs> I brought with me an article that describes the spirit of the good old days. So I'm going to read through this article for you. It says, congratulations to the alert police force. A man about 46 years of age has been arrested in New York City for attempting to extort funds from ignorant and superstitious people by exhibiting a device which he claims can, can, can um, uh, carry voice over copper wires. And he calls the instrument a telephone, which is obviously intended to imitate the word telegraph and win the confidence of those who know of the success of the latter instrument. But well-informed people know that it is impossible to transmit the human voice over wire, and were it possible to do so, the thing would be of no practical value. <laughs> and I wouldn't be in the video for social media business today. So here's the problem. We have a chorus of people down through history who say it can't be done. They said the steam engine wouldn't work, the telephone wouldn't work. Radio wouldn't work. You name anything we take for granted today, and it's something they previously said couldn't be done. It can be done. We don't always know how to do it at any point in time. Sometimes I think we miss the significance of landing a man on the moon or flying around the world in one tank of gas, well, for that matter, even in a hot air balloon. It proves that you can do just about anything if you wanted to. If you just had enough imagination to visualize yourself doing it, with the grace of God, you can accomplish it. You see, from the cradle to the grave, it's change, whether you like it or not. In the cradle, that's where the change used to take place, at least most of it. Now most change takes place right here on the job. The fact that something doesn't work yesterday has nothing to do with whether it'll work today. And the fact that something doesn't work today has nothing to do with whether it'll work tomorrow. Because new things come in all the time, making it possible to change things. It may even mean that we have to redefine what literacy is all about. Literacy used to be the ability to write your name, or read your catechism, or recite familiar passages from scripture. This was all brought about by the printing press, libraries, books periodicals. In the earliest period of American history, for example, you would have been considered literate 
if you could do those things. But today, in contrast, just to fill out an income tax form, you need to read somewhere between the 10th and 12th grade levels. That was before tax reform. Who else got in trouble besides Geithner? So literacy is being redefined by visual, social, media technologies. And that's where we come in. Literacy in the future, then, in order to participate in this economic, social, and political climate. It won't be enough to be able to read or write. It won't be enough to be able to receive information or transmit it to somebody else, even using the current technologies. We'll need to know how to evaluate information, how to manipulate it, how to make it relevant for our own particular needs, and above all, in this rapidly changing world of technology, We'll need to know how to use it in the social media technologies and create new knowledge out of a continuously changing base or pool of information. That's our challenge. And move it through the networks to make it available to people. You know, the National Enquirer had a great line. It said, inquiring minds really do want to know. So I suggest that we all develop an inquiring mind. It'd be useful for us to take a look at how our job was done five years ago or 10 years ago. And then you might think, well, how is our job gonna be done five or 10 years now in the future? And what are you doing to get ready to do it the new way? You see, everything now being done is being done by the most modern obsolete methods there are. And everything that's being done is gonna be done differently and it's going to be done better. And if you don't do it better, the competition will. And who knows, they might be nice people to work for after you get over the shock. As I see it, it's a world of unlimited potential where you can truly realize your potential to succeed, to win, through visual social media connections which are intelligently optimized and directed. Your referrals should be asking, how do I participate in video social media? How can I learn about Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, search engine optimization, text and video blogs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I assist your businesses and webmaster referrals in turning their high-tech website into a personalized, high-touch social media event by creating their own personal video message. I'm Michael Brennan, your videographer. My company is Video for Social Media. Thanks, and we'll see your referrals in the movies. Yeah. <laughs>